All right, today on the bench we have this old Big Ben transistor radio. And I'm going to try to turn this into a guitar amplifier. So if this is something that uh, you'd be interested in, stick around. All right, let's see if this works. Turn on FM here, we're getting too much noise from these lights. All right, doesn't sound too bad. The amplifier is working. I really don't care about the AM or FM tuner. Just as long as the amplifier is working, I can uh, use this for a guitar amp. So let's go ahead and tear into it and see what we can find. All right. Turn this way here. Here we go. All right, so we've got a 9 volt battery source. Also have a plugged in transformer. I'm assuming it takes it down to 9 volts or so. It's a little plastic cover which we'll remove um, so we can get to the guts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this plate. I'm going to unsolder the antenna here, take the antenna off, and I'll be back as soon as I have that done. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to figure out where the amplifier section of this is. light here is terrible. Let me see if I can't get this a little better. It's probably a little better. Not so much clear. Alright, so just by looking at it, here's the tuner. Tuning cap, antenna. This is all the FM section. This is all the AM section. Here's the volume. Uh, power supply. Diode here for halfway rectification capacitors to smooth out the DC. So I'm assuming that the uh, amplifier section will be in here somewhere. What I'm going to do just to help me find it is I'm going to set my um, signal generator and uh, we'll see if we can't find it here. We'll just sort of hover around this area. Let me take all the attenuation off of it. Turn the volume up here. Okay, so this is the uh, amplifier section. Now one thing that we can probably do um, is to tie this into the to the volume pot. That's probably the easiest way of doing it. And usually on the volume pot, you can see this green wire here. I'm not quite sure where that's going to. Um, it's probably coming up through here to, from the, from the uh, AM FM switch, which is right here. Um, so this, the middle one, typically goes to the amplifier. The one on the left usually goes to ground. And the one on the right usually um, goes to the pot. Okay, so we see there. Okay. So there it's going directly to the amplifier. Here I'm going to, um, let me put some attenuation on this. And clip this onto here. And I'm just going to use the potentiometer. Okay, so you can see as I'm turning the potentiometer, the sound gets louder and softer. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and tie my guitar input to that potentiometer. So what I have right here is I just have a guitar um, plug with two wires soldered to it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the positive 
on the potentiometer here on the input to the potentiometer I'm going to put the ground on the ground I'm going to go ahead and plug in the guitar and see if we can hear anything Turn it all the way up here, see if we can get this thing to break up. See what it sounds like. success. So uh, let's make a nice little practice amplifier. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll do a second part of this video where I'm going to add a preamp to it and see if I can get more volume out of it. But as this is right now, if I just hardwired this in and put the plug here on the side, this would make just a nice little practice amp, clean it up a bit, and we'd be good to go. Okay, so just a short update on the guitar amplifier, the transistor guitar amplifier I'm working on. What I've done is I've built a little pre-amplifier circuit. So this is a little uh, JFET pre-amplifier with a JFET, a couple of resistors, and a capacitor. And this should uh, boost the signal going into the, into the uh, transistor radio. So what I've done right here, this red lead here is the lead that goes to the um, to the uh, transistor radio amplifier. So I have this just um, I have this hooked up directly here to the um, to the guitar input. And so, in other words, I'm um, I'm not using the JFET preamp right now. So I have this out of circuit. The JFET preamp is out of circuit. So this is the, what it originally sounded like. Okay, so here's it. Okay, so now if I take this and I put it, I put the JFET amplifier in line. Okay, that makes a huge difference. Sounds much, much better. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this JFET preamp on a little circuit board. I'm going to attach it to the transistor amplifier, build it in there, and then uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so here's the finished amplifier. Everything's buttoned up inside. This is the input jack, and the signal's feeding into the preamplifier. The preamplifier signal is going into the volume potentiometer, which then goes into the amplifier section of this radio and then to the speaker. All right, this little green wire here is the signal that usually comes from the AM FM portion of the uh, radio, which then feeds into the um, potentiometer. But we've taken it out of line and instead we've put the signal coming from the preamp into there. Alright, so this is uh, dual power supply. Uh, there's a transformer in here so you can run it off of mains. You can also run it off of a 9 volt battery if you want to do some busking. And um, 
So let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. Okay, so I have the guitar plugged into the amplifier. Let's go ahead and turn this up about halfway. The guitar is also turned up about halfway, and let's see what this sounds like. Alright, not bad. Alright, let's make this break up a little bit. Let's turn the volume of the amplifier all the way up. The guitar volume is still on half, and let's see what this sounds like. Alright, that broke up real nice. Let's go ahead and turn the guitar volume all the way up and it'll break up even more. Alright, so there you go. A nice little practice amplifier that we've made out of a old transistor radio. Um, with the preamp on there, uh, we have better impedance matching uh, from the guitar to the transistor radio. And this means that uh, you can also use uh, high impedance um, pickups like uh, piezo pickups on a cigar box guitar. Um, you, you can also safely put uh, guitar pedals on the front end of this. So it's a great little practice amp, and uh, if you put a 9-volt battery in it and strap this to your guitar strap, uh, it'll make a nice little busking amp as well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, as always, thanks for watching.